All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, anglers one and all, and welcome to round two of series 13 of the Hobie Kayak Fishing Series, proudly presented by Daiwa. Our partnership with Daiwa has extended for many years and certainly is extending into series 13, and this round, the St George's Basin round, is to be known as the Daiwa round of our year. 68 anglers have hit the water this morning under overcast skies, vying for not only cash and prizes, but the coveted Australian Championships places, as well as a Hobie Fishing Worlds 10 berth and a Hobie Fishing Worlds 11 Angler of the Year points. This year, post a turbulent 2020, we are qualifying for our Hobie Kite Fishing Worlds 10 and 11 throughout Series 13. However, we will be doing this in two different formats. Hobie Fishing Worlds 10 sees six designated rounds for which the winner of that round receives an automatic qualification into the Hobie Kayak Fishing Worlds 10, whilst at the same time all anglers are competing and vying for Angler of the Year points, which will go towards Hobie Kayak Fishing Worlds 11 qualification. St George's Basin is as local as it gets for the team from Hobie Fishing, uh, whilst we are based in Huskisson, uh, within a very short 15 minute drive and it is absolutely sensational to have the opportunity to host a round where we get to sleep in our own beds. It was also the most recent venue for our Australian Championship Series which we held the Australian Championships uh, here in January of 2020 uh, which was claimed by none other than Chris Hickson. Uh, not only does St George's Basin host sensational brim fishing, it is also known as a trophy flathead fishery. And uh, I'm sure there were certainly some heart pumping moments today amongst our anglers who may have thought that they were onto a brim of a lifetime, only to find a flathead or a resident snapper had uh, taken that lure. I should also mention and thank uh, very sincerely our team from Hobie Fishing. Uh, both Jim Barry and Amy Barry are here looking after scoring for us today. And, uh, and for those of you who will have a handful of photos taken, um, if you could be very uh, kind with your words to Brad Sissons behind the lens, um, he does uh, some amazing work in that space as well. So Jim and Amy, if you are right, we are ready to go. All right, Blair Vallon, come on up. Now, Blair is competing as part of our ladies' division. I understand that this is the first event that Blair has competed in with Hobie. And, uh, mate, you have picked the wettest and windiest weekend to do that. But um, great to have you here, right into the mic there. Um, so, first Hobie kayak fishing event, how long have you had to kayak for? Um, about... Three weeks. Three weeks, <laughs> yeah. okay. So right, straight from the store, straight into a tournament. Pretty much, yeah. Sensational, mate. Right, we've got one fish for the way bag today. Let's have a look and see where that lands you. Right, a fairly healthy 460 grams, and I am very proud to say that you are in first place. Brilliant, thank you. <laughs> Good on you, Blair. Thank you very much. All right, next to the table, looks like we have Gary Hansen. Now, Gaz, for what I can see, it looks like you've got three to the scales. No, uh, no stranger to being up here weighing in some very, very good bags. Except for uh, last week. Oh, we didn't have to talk about it, but if you <laughs> want to bring it up, we can. <laughs> um, mate, so you've travelled up from Victoria. There is absolutely nothing wrong I, with I what... I drove up, mate. Drove up? Yeah, I didn't paddle up. No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at this, Gaz, because I want to have a look at this guy for Big Brim just to set the standard for today. Three fish, Gary Hansen. So where you want to be, 1.99. All right, guys, you want to have a look at this guy for Big Brim? Yeah, sure. You might as well uh, get it started if you've got that bag. So some really, really healthy elephant brim here in St George's Basin. You reckon he's the one, or you want to have a look at the other one too? I've no idea. All right, Jimbo, let's have a look at this. Gary Hansen, Big Brim. Okay, that guy goes in at 800 grams. Did you want to have a look at the other guy, mate? Why not? Yep. Yeah, I think you might be right there, Gaz. But we'll have another look there, Jim, for a second fish for Big Brim. Yeah, yeah. 100 grams lighter. Cool. All right. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, mate, uh, that's a really, really handy way to start day one. It's just a matter of backing it up for day two now. Yeah, right. All right, mate. I'm sure you'll be all over it. Mitch Madison. Three fish as well. Now... Mitch, you've made some changes in the last few months. You've uh, 
headed back down from sort of northern New South Wales, almost Queensland, to sort of come back into the Sydney region. Yeah, moving home. Yep, and um, I guess the, the regions of sort of Milton, Ulladulla, the Basin are certainly home. as home as you could get. That's about it. All right, mate, let's see how you go today. Three fish for Mitch. 1.63, currently in second place. All right, time Thank to you. back it up tomorrow, big guy. Thank you. Well done. All right, James Kilpatrick. Two fish today. Uh, James is our uh, Hobie dealer in the Hunter region at Hunter Water Sports in Belmont. Mate, um, a bit of a wet one behind the ears today. Yeah, definitely. Got soaked. I've got a feeling, though, you've got a lot more rain up at home than what we've had here today. Yeah, which uh, today out there I was thinking, yeah, this is paradise compared to at home. <laughs> uh... All right, two fish for Jimmy today. Those two. Quite a respectable 1.06, currently in third place. All right, mate, we'll see Thank you up you. tomorrow. Well done. All right, now we might just have a little bit of time between anglers whilst we've just got limited way bags going out. Um, although, Jason Reed, if you are ready, you, I believe you have three fish. Come on up, mate. Now, you're chasing two kilos. It's a shake of the head. But, um, mate, outside of a, a little bit of rain, it was a pretty handy day on the water. You start the day, overcast conditions, wind on the water straight away. Looks like it's going to be a good day. Yeah, it was good. I had first fish by by seven. Yep. And then hour and a half later, I was then job the next, done. Yeah. Then the next couple come. So nice, mate. Well, look, these are quite healthy. Those three for you today. A very handy, one point six four, and currently yep. second place. All right, mate. Let's Thank go and get a few much. photos of those, and we'll yep. see you here tomorrow for sure. All right, Dave Hedge. Again, a certainly no stranger to the weighing table. Hedgie's got his three. Now, um, Lake Mac resident up that way. Yes, um, definitely. How do the basin brim sort of, I don't know, rate, Hedgie? Ah, uh, Lake Mac one's heaps better. Heaps better? Yeah. You got a few pets up there? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Hedgie, three fish for you today, mate. Those three are at 1.41 and currently in fourth. About 590 grams behind the lead. All right, bloke, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we'll keep ripping through these. We have Scott Marsinkowski. Now, again, Scotty is a South Coast resident and uh, certainly does spend uh, some periodic time down here on the basin, both in the boat and in the kayak, mate. Yeah, mate. So, yep. A bit, bit harder now for the kids, but yeah, trying yeah. to get Yeah. So, um, but mate, look, you've, um, I think you've outdone yourself there today. I'm, what are we saying, one, seven, one, eight? Let's have a look. Let's okay. see where we go. I don't think we'll go that. Scotty Mac. Oh, it's a little bit heavy. All right, 161 and in fourth. I'm sure you can do that all over again tomorrow, mate. Thanks, Chris. Well done. Thank you. All right. One of our Victorian anglers uh, next to the table is Lindsay Pryke. Now, we saw Lindsay last weekend down at our first round, which was down on the Nicholson River. Um, almost home. I believe he was only within about 15 minutes at most of uh, having to get out of bed and make it down to the uh, to the Nico boat ramp. Yeah, and I've done about the same result. <laughs> One fish today. <laughs> um, mate, look, it's fishing, it's not catching. We just keep turning up and we, uh, we have a good time with our mates. One fish for Lindsay today. That one fish is 550 grams and currently in seventh, mate. All right, a better day tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks again. All right, let's just have a really quick look back at the top five at the moment. Uh, early on into the weigh table was Gary Hansen, sitting in first at 1.99 kilos. Uh, New South Welshman Jason Reed at 1.64. Mitch Madison close on his heels at 1.63. Scotty Marsinkowski uh, at 1.61. And Dave Hedge rounding out the top five just at present at 1.41 kilos. So as you can see, there's certainly not a lot of, uh, of weight between the anglers and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what else we have coming up to the table. Looks as though we're just passing out a handful more bags to try and get through what is a fairly extensive line of anglers. Looks like we've got one uh, jogging his way forward. I can see Ozzy making his way up. Now, 
Aussie's going to let us know how many he's got in the bag. Two fish for Aussie. Righty oh mate, come on up. Now, um, mate, we haven't seen you for ages. Um, I shrunk. Right there. Yeah. Um, for various reasons, but you, you've been spending a fair bit of time in the boat. You're working hard. Yeah. Um, how's Leah? Yeah, good. Behaving good. yourself? Yeah, she's, uh, she's working from home now so yep. to pay for my fishing. And how's that going? Yeah, good so far. All she right, we won't, got a card. we won't go into it any further. <laughs> two fish for Aussie. Those two, 1.12. A little bit of work to do tomorrow, mate, but um, I know you're good for it. All right, well done. Good to see you, mate. All right, next to the table, Richard King. Now, Rich has got one for us today, and one is certainly significantly better than none. It is a start, and tomorrow's a whole new day. All right, um, early or late in the piece, Rich, did you have to sort of grind it out, or was, he, uh, was it an early bite? No, it was a tough bite. Um, yep. uh, I found them deep today. So. Yep, schooling up but not biting. Yeah. All right, that one soldier is going to be a 0.53. That currently has you sitting in ninth, but by the look of that line, that may change, unfortunately, mate. Thank you. All right, let's hope to see you tomorrow. All right, a few more bags there in the bump tub right now. Uh, Andrew Shorty Hancocks. Come on up, mate. Now, Andrew, you've had some really handy results here on the basin over the years. A very, very consistent angler. Um, home isn't too far away. You spend a little bit of time down in this neck of the woods. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. We know place. you do. Well, mate, it hasn't hated you. There's nothing wrong with what's here. That was, that was a struggle. Mate, a struggle nonetheless means three fish to the table. Three fish for Andrew this afternoon. He's done it, taking the lead at 2.02 kilos. Our current day one leader at this stage, mate. Um, did you want to weigh one of those for Big Brim? It's 800 grams at present. Yep. Yep, we'll have a look at him. All right, mate. That may, in fact, do it, Shorty. Let's see where we go. Jim, if you're all right for Big Brim. Yep, here we go. Let's have a look. 800 grams to beat, I believe. And he's done that quite readily at 910. Big Brim at the moment, Shorty. Let's uh, see how long he stands here for, buddy. About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> all right, mate. He's all yours. Thanks, well Chris. done, champ. Thank you. All right, next to the table, Jeremy Thomas. Now, Jez, again, your tenure with us has certainly been over a number of years. We've, um, we've sort of seen you and then you've sort of had a bit of a break and then seen you again. Um, mate, it's really, really great to see a three fish bag from you today. It's, uh, it makes the, uh, the time sitting out there in the rain and the wind well worth it. Yep. All right, Jeremy Thomas, three fish. Yeah, very handy, mate. 1.66 kilos and currently in third place. Um, anything in there that we should have a look at? No. No, not in that lot. All right, mate, we'll see you tomorrow for sure. All right, Tony Petty. Now, Tony's got two for us today. We did have a chat to him earlier in passing. We kind of saw the one and then we saw two and we just haven't quite found number three. Maybe tomorrow. No, plenty of casts, mate. I, uh, I know that you do have a never-say-die attitude in that space. Mate, yeah. two fish for Tony this afternoon. Just shy of that kilo mark, 0.87 and currently in 10th. Good on your toe. Thanks, buddy. All right. Victorians everywhere. Jason Deenan. Now, it's... Uh, we wanted to see three, but we found two. Yeah, there's only two. Um, and much the same, mate. A little bit sort of scattered throughout the course of the day. Yeah, I had plenty of bites. I just couldn't hook them. Trying to convert them. Yeah. Yep. All right, two fish for Jason. Those two fish... 0.89 and uh, currently in 10th, mate. I'm sure we will be seeing you tomorrow as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kev Vardy. Now, Kev has three fish. Thank you. Now, um, another sensational day on the basin, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a cracker. <laughs> I, um, it never ceases to amaze us. It can be stinking hot, blowing wind, plenty of rain. Um, we didn't see the heat, but, mate, three fish for you. And a very respectable 1.72 kilos, well inside the top five in third. All right, good on you, Kev. Thanks, mate. Nothing in there that you want to have a look at? Sorry, I should have said. No, no, safe and sound. All right, Lex Court. 
Now, Lexi's competing as part of our Masters, which we won't say too much more other than that. No, Gary's got two. He's also competing in the Open Division. Um, three fish for Lex. Mate, that's a handy bag. No, not big enough. Yeah, but tomorrow's another day, and if you found them today, you should find them tomorrow. I want to be bigger than that. Come on now, settle down. Locked in at 1.63 and well inside the top 10 in seventh. Thank you. Thanks, Lex. Ta. All right, ripping through them. <laughs> Current Hobie Fishing World Champion and all-round nice guy. 50 years of age and one day. Uh, his 50th birthday yesterday. Thank you. My pleasure. Now, we did say that we were going to sing happy birthday. I don't think you No? No? That was um, no. maybe a bit of beer talk last no, night. A bit of beer talk. Okay, rightio. All right, Deethy, three fish. Very, very well done, mate. Let's have a look and see where they land. A consistent 1.64 and currently in sixth. Mate, um, a couple of kilos tomorrow. I'll put you right up there. Exactly. All right, good on you, Deethy. Thanks, mate. Terry Grimmer. Now, Tez would be one of those guys that I've met a number of years ago, and if he told you that he has owned 16 Hobie kayaks... Uh, a bit more than that. A couple more yeah, than that, you reckon? A couple more than that, yeah. All right. There's, um, there's been all sorts between quests and outbacks uh, and mate, pro anglers. Yep. So, mate, look, you've been with us a long time. We do appreciate it. One fish for Terry today. That one fish is... 0.38. It would have been more, actually. I just dropped the other one over the side. It just spiked me. Oh, Tess. <laughs> it's the hardest part of the game is yeah, losing a fish oh, out right. of the live well. It cost you. Out of the live well, <laughs> onto the sand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Uh, we hope to see you tomorrow. All right. Doug Baker. Now, mate, you look about as wet as some of those sheep that you shear out there, mate. I tell you what, it's... Um, <laughs> I'm not too bad. <laughs> He's, uh, he's our resident shearer, Dougie Baker. Yeah, mate. mate, two fish for you this afternoon. Could have been a third, I'm sure. Yep. Hey? Did lose one. All right, let's have a look at these two, and we'll get them back in the basin. Two fish for Doug, 1.12, currently in 12th. I'm happy with that. I bet you are. <laughs> well done, Dougie. All right, next to the table, Francis Dimitina. And that's the right number next to your name there, mate. Three fish, well done. And, um, yeah, see, that's the right number, the wrong size. Ah, uh, look, three is still three. Um, I don't three. think that there's any um, any arguing that. Now, you need to start setting an alarm for your young bloke. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you've got to do. You were back here well in time. Three fish for Francis. Locked in at 1.4 kilos. Currently in 11th. And uh, let's see what family battles ensue nice. once we get Cullen up here. All right, thanks, Francis. Ta, mate. All right. Next to the table is Jake Moyes. Now, Jake, you're going to have to help me and make sure that I've got that surname correct, mate. Yeah, all over it. Happy days. All right, three fish for Jake today. Now, Jake comes into us as one of the first events that he's done with the team from Hobie. Uh, mate, where are you from otherwise? Northern Beaches. Northern Beaches, yep. All right, Jake, three fish. Let's see where this is going to put you on the leaderboard. All right, locked in at 1.34 kilos, inside the top 15 in 12th. Mate, um, let's do it again all tomorrow. Yeah. All right, well done, champ. All right, looks like we've got a handful of guys over at the bump tub now. And Tom McLean, you are next to the table. Now, without dwelling on it too much, mate, I had expected three from you. It's two. I know that you would have expected three from yourself. But um, the wind, the overcast conditions, it was all there. They've still got a bite, though. Uh, yeah, I caught everything except one. I dropped one, but uh, I would have caught 20 whiting and 20 tarwine and flathead and <laughs> four kilo flathead. And those, uh, those silver flashes, uh, those tarwine, I'll just do your head in. Mate, two fish for you this afternoon. Coming in at 0.97 and 16th at present, my friend. All right, let's do it all again. Thanks, Tom. All right. Looks like we've got James Kilpatrick down there on the, uh, the official ruler. He's having a look at one of the anglers just prior to them making their way up to the table. Who have I got next? Sean Hill. Come on up, mate. <coughs> I think everything's looking very healthy in that bag, Hilly. Mate, um, 
I think you said you did get down to do a pre-fish just before that pre-fish ban came into play. Um, yes. I don't know that it... Did it really play the game for you? No. No, but yet today... Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was hard, but... Yeah, but they're here. Yeah. They're in the bag. All right, three fish. I reckon we're going to start to have a look at the near enough to that sort of high ones, almost two kilo mark. Let's have a look for you, mate. Oh, yeah, better than that still. 2.11 and currently leading in first place. You want to have a look at that guy in there, mate? Nothing that's kind of stand out over 900-odd? No. no. no so. All right. Thanks, well done, Hilly. Mate, that's a really, really great result. And I'll just quickly recap those top five so we all know where we're sitting. 2.11 uh, kilos for Sean Hill. 2.02 kilos for Andrew Hancock. 1.99 for Gary Hansen. 172 is Kev Vardy. And rounding out the top five with 1.66 kilos is Jeremy Thomas. And from what I can see in below that, the top 10 between 5th and 10th, we have no more than about 50 grams. All right, yep. Thanks, Jimbo. Just chasing down Jim Hosey or Jim Hoyce. Jim, if you happen to be around, mate, and you do have your key tag with you, my friend, um, if you could just bring that up to Jim, Amy and or Scott up here, that would be most helpful. Um, Jimbo, that one might, if I may, might just be a... No, no, just a phone call for Jim. Yep. All right, next to the way table is Pine Ross. Now, Pino, we, uh, we came across you there at one point today. I think you had a couple of fish at the time. Oh, no, no, by that stage of the game, you, in fact, had your bag. Yes, I did. Yep, in between the islands there. Now, yep. you said that you did all right, and I reckon that feels like you did all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's, um, that's definitely in the top ten, my friend. Maybe even better than that still. Maybe top three. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. So close. That's second. 2.05 kilos for Pine. Just coming in behind Sean Hill and ahead of Shorty. No worries. All right, mate, well done. Thank Anything you want to have a look at there? No, nah. nah, you're right. All right, well done, mate. Next to the table, Jamie Bowden. <coughs> Two fish for Jamie, and that line I can see is still extending right the way back through there. So of the 68-odd anglers that we had on the water, it looks like everyone's caught a fish, if not several. Mate, right to the mic there. Hey, mate, how good is it to see you? Yeah, good. Hey? Bit, bit it's lonely. Yeah, where's the boss? Uh, she's over there. Out here. Yeah. Hey, Tammy. All right, two fish for Jamie. Not bad models at all there, mate. Just over that kilo at 1.14. Just inside the top 15 at 15th place. Awesome. Well done, buddy. Hope to see you tomorrow. All right. Jesse Thompson. Now, Jesse's got one for us today. I'm sure that as we uh, were zipping around there through the day, we've seen you sort of back over towards the, the Cardinal Marker just inside uh, the Century Point boat ramp there. Yep. Looks like you had a few mates over there with you. Yeah. Seemed to be a pretty popular little spot there at one point. Yeah, got a bit busy. <laughs> one fish for Jesse. That one fish, 0.47. Cheers. All right, well done, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Hopefully, hopefully three tomorrow. Cool. All right. All right. Following up Jesse is Richard Summerton. Now, there's a, uh, there's a way to travel, mate, and it's generally point A to point B. <laughs> I'd argue that you found point A, B, C, D, E, F and G on your journey to St George's Basin. Yeah, it was us. It was. <laughs> um, for those that may not know, there is a, a very genuine thing known as the Yass Triangle. If you want to know any more about it, you can ask Richard. This is a very, very handy bag, and we one that we would come to expect. Oh. Settle down. 2.2 kilos, currently in first place, Richard Summerton. I, that big I think we should have a look at that guy, mate. All right, Summer, pop him in there. Yep, he's got a kilo or better written on him, doesn't he? All right, Jimbo, here we go. Big brim, Richard Summerton. 1.11 and Big Brim also. So not only in first place, but Big Brim at present as well, mate. Thanks, Rich. Rightio. So the numbers just keep getting better. To get to that 2.2 kilo mark is, I'm sure, what a lot of our anglers are aspiring towards. But right now we have Byron Hill on stage with two. I do have a feeling that 
when we caught you, I think mid morning you had the one. Yeah. You were about to make a move, and you said, "I'm about to make the wrong decision." <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I made the wrong decision. I got right. a, I got a few fish. Jimmy, uh, who you know is one of my best mates, just rejected a fish of mine, so that's, oh. uh, that's all good. Uh, but no, she was she was under, so it's fine. That's that's yeah, what it is, it mate. Is it's uh, it is part of the process. It's one point one kilos for those two. You're inside the top twenty. Not bitter. It's cool. No, at all. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like you're put, trying to put a flathead in there or anything crazy like that. All right, Jason Meach. Um, again, no stranger to the table. Um, a very, very handy angler from the central coast of New South Wales. Three fish for you today, mate. Yep. And um, plenty of rain, plenty of wind. Um, I'm hoping that you had a little bit of uh, open fishing area to yourself. I yeah, I got away from everyone. Yep, yeah, that's yeah. generally your thing. I disappeared. Mate, uh, three fish for Jason's today on the table. Look at that mate, 2.08, currently in third and well within striking distance of a Hobie Fishing World's 10 place tomorrow mate. Thanks, Chris. Well done Michi. Alright, Jimmy I'm so pleased that you're the one on the ruler mate. I tell you what, Bradley Hart, if you are ready. Now three fish for Bradley. Now Brad, we may or may not have crossed paths mate, whereabouts in New South Wales are you from? Harrington, actually. Harrington, a place that I am beginning to know better and better and better. I've got nice in-laws that have got a, got a place up there. So you'd happen to know Brendo. I do, yeah. Yep. I yep. down with him, unfortunately. Well, someone had to do it, mate. Yeah, that's right. Mate, those three fish for Bradley this afternoon should be inside that top 10 weight. 1.80 kilos, currently in seventh. And, uh, mate, you do that all over again tomorrow and we will be uh, on stage again. Yeah. All right, well done, Bradley. Thank you very much. Zach Morozov. <clears throat> now, once again, a very, very keen angler, a member of the team from the Australian Bass Angler, who is our Hobie dealer up in Penrith. Mate, um, that's a bag that Peter would be pretty happy with. Yeah, I think so. Hey? Yeah. It was well yeah. worth giving you the day off. Yeah. <laughs> um, three fish for Zach. Let's have a look and see where you, where you weigh in there, buddy. There's a lot in that 1.6 kilo range. 1.64 for Zach, currently in 12th place. And, uh, mate, you'll be back tomorrow for Thanks, sure. Chris. Rightio, thank you. All right, Brennan Pichel. After some very kind words from your travel companion and uh, going into the end of day one, it would appear that he also has bragging rights. Yeah, it's a long way to the end. It is a long way to the end, mate. It's a long yeah, way home for Bradley if he doesn't mind his too, manners. So <laughs> I've got nothing. All right, mate. One fish for you this afternoon, Brendo. Not a bad fish at that. Very respectable, 770 grams. Let's see what tomorrow does for you, mate. Thanks, mate. All right, well done. All right, that line is gradually getting shorter, but I am very, very pleased to see so many people coming in with fish today. Bo Hicks. Now, mate, um, unless that one fish is a basin record at uh, a little bit over 2.2 kilos, Definitely uh, not. it's not going to get you there. But, um, mate, uh, one fish for you this afternoon. That one... He's still handy at 610 grams, currently in 28th. But, um, mate, tomorrow's a new day and I'm sure nowhere near as much rain. Thank you, Chris. All right, well done. Thank you kindly. All right, Darren Murphy from the ACT. Darren's got one fish for us today. Now, it was only but a few days ago, Darren, that we were having a, uh, yeah, just a quiet chat and, uh, and the like down at the Nicholson River. That's right. So you've, uh, you've covered a few miles like uh, a number of the anglers. Mate, that one fish for you this afternoon is going to come in at, at 0.52. And, uh, mate, I would hope mate. to see a full bag for you tomorrow, mate. Cheers. All right, well done. All right, getting through them now. Uh, another ACT is Alan Lister. Now, Alan, we had a quick chat before you went out there this morning and you were telling me just how well you are feeling being out on the kayak. Um, no real fatigue, highly enjoyable, it's good for the hips and knees and everything. And uh, mate... That's K an hour we're talking, not miles an hour. Yeah, no, 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 kilometres an hour, mate, you're still in the right... If you're doing that in miles an hour, you are well in front of everyone else. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, three fish for Alan this afternoon. Those three, my friends. Geez, that's a busy place at 1.64 kilos. Currently in 13th place. Well done, mate. Cheers. Rinse and repeat tomorrow. 
All right, we've still got a few to go there, Jimbo. Yeah, look at that. All right, next to the table, Brett Crow. Now, Crowy, those... Actually, no, when we came across you this morning, it was um, you'd eaten your apple, you were staring down your pear, and, and there was nothing in the, li in the light well. Um, you just reminded me I still got the pear left. <laughs> I didn't have time to eat it. <laughs> you got busy, which is great. Two fish for Brett this afternoon. And a very handy 1.44 kilos. Currently in 17th. Mate, um, three tomorrow. Good shot, thank you. Well done, Crowy. And a legend of a fella as being a fellow Raiders supporter, I can tell you. <laughs> Cedric Lopez. Now, it's a name that we haven't heard at the way table for a little while. Um, life has been busy. Moving away from the Newcastle region, moving up to the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Uh, mate, I hope that every one of the family's okay up there at the moment. They're, they're a little wetter than what we are here. Yeah, it's a uh, flood day. Yep. Stay yep. at home, watch TV. Yep. Everyone just gets a chance to relax and, uh, yeah. and stay safe. No school. One fish for Cedric. That one fish. 0.57. And, mate, um, here's to a better day tomorrow. Thank well you. done, buddy. Thank you very much. All right. Now, I'd say that we might be within the last 10 or so anglers. This guy does know how to fish. Richard Patterson. Now, it made the journey up from, uh, I guess, in and around. You're sort of the, you're around the Gippy Lakes? Torquay. Torquay, right here. Back down. A little bit further than Gippy. So, um, mate, um, you kind of spoke these down a little bit. There's nothing wrong there. It's, it's top 15 at least at a minimum. Well within striking distance. 1.49, 17th. That'll do. Mate, there's um, some handy Angler of the Year points there. Well done, Rich. Thank you very much, buddy. All right. Again, another fellow who is in no way, shape or form a stranger. Stephen Pryke. Mate, uh, miles, miles and miles, both on road and on the water, Pryke. Yeah, we've done a few Ks to be here. Yep. It's good. And good plenty chance. more to go, mate. How good is it to be fishing again? It's good. Seeing everyone back on the water. Mate, it's um, three fish for you this afternoon. We'll keep moving right through these. Those three at that busy part of town at 1.61 kilos, 17th place, and only about 600 grams off the lead, my friend. Thank well you. done, Prikey. Thank you, mate. All right. We have next to the table is Blake Partington. Now, one fish for you today, mate. Um, busy day on the water. Just yeah. a struggle. <laughs> I caught two tarwine, two thumper whiting, a yeah. tiny flathead, and dropped a couple of fish that could have been brim, who knows. Yeah, it's, um, it's fishing, mate, isn't it? What do you do? That's it. You just enjoy it, smile, go and have just a quiet hour with your mates. That's it. One fish for Blake, 0.53, and, mate, um, here's to three tomorrow. Good on you, Blake. Thank you very much. Thanks, All right, chasing Blake is Daniel Ogden. Mate, that's the right number next to your name. Yeah. Three fish, right. hey? Now, you came to the table this morning. It was like, all right, what have we got to do to register? How are we going to get this done? Um, mate, really, really great work on what has otherwise been a fairly trying day for some. Three fish for Daniel. Those three locked in at 1.3 and currently in 23rd. Well done, buddy. Oh, Congratulations. Well done. Rightio. Yeah. Next in line, Cullen D. Matina. Two fish. Three fish. Sorry, I'm reading the, the nasty thing that says, I don't know how to tell the time. <laughs> Mate. Look, I, I know you're a great angler. I just don't know that you need to give any of these other guys a head start. Yep. <laughs> All right, mate, we'll leave it there. Three fish for Cullen. No, you're right, Jimbo. Yep, 1.52 kilos, currently in 20th place, mate. All right, you? you'll be right tomorrow, I know you will. All right, Mark Thompson, come on up, mate. Now, three fish for Mark. What have we got in the bag? Just enough. Just enough, he says. <laughs> mate, um, really, really great to see you sort of making your way along to a handful of our events. Um, the basin is uh, it's just sort of proving a little bit tricky for a few today. 
but, oh, um, it's just a win. but you've got it with three yeah. fish. Yep. You've got your 1.35 yep. kilos in currently in 23rd. Yep. Awesome. You'll be here tomorrow for sure. Thanks, Thanks Mark. All right, who have we got? Dan Walter. My apologies, was that me, Jim? <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, we're just trying to, to hold the, the suspense for Glenno. Yeah. Hey, Dan, three in the bag. Three in the bag. Now, um, let's see where this keeps you, my friend. Three fish for Dan. 1.21 in the 26th. And, uh, mate, I expect three tomorrow. Yes, boss. All right, buddy, well done. All right, sorry, I think we now have Glen Allen. Now, uh, Glen one fish for you. And um, we, we caught up with Jimmy there at one point in time and we were going, oh, look, where you are is not far from where Glen was in the Australian Championships. Yeah, um, is that where you went back to? Yeah, I went yep. there and I was just full EP's hands. And yeah, right. Okay. 15 over 40, 45 seconds. Oh, heartbreakers constantly. Yeah. All right, one, one fish for Glenno. That one is 0.77. And um, maybe another game plan for tomorrow, or are you just going to go and have some fun with the EPs fun again? Fun, I think. No, I'll go somewhere else. Oh, I'm sure you will. I'm better in pre-fish. So. <laughs> All right, mate, let's turn it around tomorrow. Josh C., Josh Carpenter. Mate, um... We would generally always expect three from you, mate. Um, angling is well and truly in your veins. I was very lucky to get three today. <laughs> that last little one came 15 minutes before the end. And that's why you don't stop and that's casting. That's why I never stop. All right. I went to the Hobie Worlds for a fish I caught in the last 20 minutes around the corner. There you go. Three fish for Josh. Let's see where this puts him. There we go. 2.13 kilos, currently in second place. That's a lot more than I thought. There's Hi, Dina. There's plenty in there. <laughs> All right, Kane Terry next to the table. Two fish for Kane. Mate, um, I think we pulled up just outside where you were there the first thing in the morning, and it was like, he's on, he's on. Too flooded. Yeah, <laughs> wrong species. Uh, two fish for Kane. Those two are going to weigh in at 940 grams. A little bit of work to do tomorrow, mate. Yep. But I know it's in you. Well done, Kano. Thank you. All right. Simon Morley. Again, nothing less than three is expected. Not only from us, but from yourself. I know that. Yeah, that's true. Um, Mate, um, it seems you had to work and work and work for these. Yeah, it didn't catch them easy. Yep. That way. <laughs> All right. The wind made it pretty tough. So it is a two-day event. That's it. Three fish for Simon for Saturday afternoon. <clears throat> wow. Rightio. You're, you're, you're in, the, in the places where you need to be. 1.92 kilos, eighth position going into day two. Hang on to that. All right, Simon. Well done, buddy. Right, a couple to go, maybe one to go. No, two at least. Danny Jobson. Now, uh, I guess it's one of those places that you just sometimes don't realise how big the basin is. and <laughs> it's. Um, let's just leave it there, hey? We'll yeah. just say the basin's a big place. Danny, Danny found out just how big it was on the way back. Mate, three fish. A little bit behind the 2pm cutoff. It will cost you a little bit, mate, but uh, you're weighing in there at 1.63 with a little bit of a deduction. You're in 22nd place. Right All right, Thanks, well buddy. done, Danny. Thanks, buddy. All right, Jonathan Chen. Now, Chenny, that looks like a big, big day at the office for one fish. Oh, it was a good day in the office. Caught plenty of fish. Yep. Snapper, lots of Taiwan. <laughs> No. All right, mate. One fish for you this afternoon. That one fish is going to round out at 780 grams, 39th place, Thanks. and a little bit of work to do tomorrow. Thanks, Jenny. All right. This has got to be nearing the end. A couple more to go, but this is just an amazing result for the basin, and it is somewhat expected. Um, Chris Byrne, come on up, buddy. One fish for Chris this afternoon, and a, uh, a bit of a, a wild and woolly day, my friend. Yes, good fun. But, um, 
Mate, any day is a good day if you're fishing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we don't need to be told that twice, do we? <laughs> All right, one fish for Chris. That one fish, 630 grams. And, uh, mate, here's to uh, another day on the water tomorrow. Thanks, Chris. All right. If this may be our final angler to the table, Jack Gammy. Now, Jacko, you're chasing down 2.21 kilos, which is that uh, long-lasting friend of yours, Richard Summerton. Yeah, that's not happening. It's not going to get there, but, um, mate, three fish is what you need both days, and it's in particular day one if you're going to make day two count even yeah. further. Three fish for Jack. Those three fish... 1.24 kilos and uh, about a kilo of work to do tomorrow, buddy. Bye. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. From what I can see, that should otherwise conclude all of our anglers that have had a fish to weigh this afternoon. It does. That's fine. Now, what we will do, go th we'll go through a very quick wrap-up of our top 10 and things are looking very, very busy. Richard Summerton is in the lead at 2.2 kilos. Followed by Josh Carpenter in at 2.13. Sean Hill rounding out the top three with 2.11. Jason Meach, a very, very respectable 2.08 kilos for fourth place. Pine Ross, I know you'll be very pleased with this to be in the top five, my friend, 2.05 kilos. Andrew Hancocks is in sixth at 2.02. .02. Gary Hansen, very early to weigh in and has maintained a top 10 place with 1.99 kilos. Uh, Simon Morley, 8th place, 1.92. <coughs> Bradley Hart coming in in ninth with 1.8. And a clear 10th place there for Kev Vardy with 1.72 kilos. What I can see in behind that is a bunch of tied results that lead us into our top 20 with a weight of 1.49 kilos. But what I can see there, between about 10th and 16th, there is little to nothing separating the field. So tomorrow's a new day. We look forward to bringing you uh, some more on-water action as well as our live weigh-in from 2pm tomorrow afternoon. Thank you very much for those of you that have uh, tuned in with us and we look forward to seeing you just after our briefing tomorrow morning and our gate start at 7am. Thanks very much. Bye for now.